Above the rippling surface waves has grown a solemn rocky highland built of bricks. With chasms black and floods of crimson rocks, and boundaries woeful of the land unknown. I see the dreams so marvelously sad, the creeks of land so solid and encrusted, where wave and tide upon shores are busted, while singing by the mournful twilight's bed. And canvas in the dark plies a quiet course, trembling with an ancient mystic force, the force of wind and raspy, breathless ripple. In ways of constant dare and righteous struggle, my boat is led along by shearing tumult, and skies are lit with starry, shining sparkle. We never heard again once we departed the sinner's prayers sound in discord, an earthly god's communion is reward from priests and temples never started. The dreams of madness change our savior. We are as bees abandoned by the hive. Like the men of fallen Troy, we now strive, and flames predict the time of our failure. By breathing gusts, we're led in dissolution, long paths unfolding, roads we've never walked. We stroll in blindness as a herdless flock, rolling thunder, earth, and lightning fusion. Exploding fires of doubt and disdain, our dreams meaning the world will never gain. Dreams meaning the earth will never dash. When morning murmurs meld in single chorus and silken dawns dissolve before us, the foul scythe will then be burnt to ash. The rippling gray will crush to diamond dust. The aigrettes drowned in the silent ocean. Our spirits liberated by devotion. The false sun's glitter will fade at last. We are neither stunned by midday desert splendor, nor do the jewels our wills surrender. No, we are dead for golden coin's sake. And robed in silken moon rays, we are dressed. By suns that shine at midnight, we are blessed. And at the darkest hour, we are awake. Suns that shine at midnight, we are blessed. Keen rays descend through mortared spires. The universe's race is paced with fire. The nebulas, the stars, the voided depths, from Alpha Dog to Vega and to Beta, to Ursa Major and sad Pleiades. They cross the skies as sage deities, creating planets like divine excreta. O dust of worlds, O pure, holy swarm, I measured, checked, adapted, scaled, and formed, gave names, drew maps, and specified the order, but starry horror will not let us go. It makes us call to foul, primal woe. When will we know the bliss of latest water? Entombed, he is destined to be fey. Yet sun's hot bark is clear to his sight. From sepulcher that arises from midnight, he sees the land. Wheat is laid in the rays. Mules approach, scythes cry. A flail beats the ear. Rafts drift. Beasts sleep. Flitting birds make nests. And from his shroud's folds, he sees the fest of days and nights. Spill into the years, without joy, without tears and pain. He watches over humans' idle fates with no black thought, without asking why. Beyond existence, will or any wish in knowing peace unknown to you or I. For to the earth, we are forever banished. They're not alive, but neither are they dead. They're deaf to words, and their touch is senseless. 
Their blunt to smell and their pain is endless. Their doom, unaltered by any event, is sealed in darkness. But Lightgiver Phoebus bestows the blind with overwhelming awe in sight of God. And the concealed cave is turned to Christmas den by Holy Vortex, the primal knight who bore him in her womb. The offspring sent to her by miser father is carrying her gifts to fateful brother, the one by solar rage who was entombed, who has become the toy of fateless play, who is alive, yet destined to be fey. We exiles, wanderers, and poets who yearned to be but failed to become where birds have nests, beasts their lair homes. Our lot is a staff and beggar's hovel. The duty has failed. The promises are broken. The path unwalked. And our doom is nigh. Dreams of such roads drowning in a sigh of songs unsung and poems never spoken. In shards of will, it is so hard to find your own true self. So hard to confine the foolish pride. So hard to enter another's marquee and to beg for bread. Hard for the vanguard soul to render alive that never has been truly. life's transcendent pains apart. We bear grief and disappointment's fire. But the banner, or our sorrow's ire, flutters in the winds of the departed. We hold life's transcendent pains apart. We bear grief and disappointment's fire. But the banner, or our sorrow's ire, flutters in the winds of the departed. Let the biting flames poison our spirit, singing spirits smothered by corpses, like Laocoon tangled in knotted snakes, straining to break free, yet keeping silent. But no bliss will ever change this pain, the dignity of this restraint, the tension, this ecstasy of hopeless prison. For the balm of let is oblivion, we rain a grail of sorrows on the world, we exiles. Wanderers and poets. Those to earth who are forever hurled cannot enjoy the vastness of the fields as times each passing moment yields the dancing shadows of other worlds. The soul sees the flicker far and vague as on the surface of this ancient regret one tried to read the holy alphabet but lost the pattern in his own plague. And so he walks the dust of earthly sod, an apostate, a self-forgotten god. In things familiar, he seeks forbidden codes. His flesh, immortal, is shrouded in flames, and to him, even death does simply nod. Him who saw the dreams and knew. who saw the dreams and knew the names, who heard the grasses talking to each other, who learned the will of their ancient father and listened to the songs of tidal waves, the ones whose souls have been purified, the ones harnessed to the pain of challenge, who lit the mystic candles on the fringe, who became a pure shade of darkest nights, who didn't squeeze their grape to sinful glass and didn't seek the joys of earthly leisure, not in the priestess's dance nor in the pleasure, but who descended into hell's morass to meet their shadow at the very bottom. They don't expect hearts with love to blossom. Why don't I know the bliss of Leta's waters? Why does my spirit cry into the night? It knows not the taste of burning spite. It pleads not to Satan's wily daughters. The circle's broken and the chance dispelled. While everyone is bathed in brilliant rays, rejoicing in the wine of passing days, we're drawn to lights beyond the blue sky's shell. 
the rustling grass, the shimmer of the swamps. A lazy wind plays out a vain romp and carries the shade of Persephone to Pleiades, who gazes through the gust. And my spirit has a sad mistrust, crying as I contemplate antiquity. Spirit cries, entangled by the weeds. They grew from seeds nourished by blackness. Their poison stuns. They bind in shackles, like horrors sealed in the pyramids. But neither fireborn marble nor granite can make a frame immune to the power of the flows of ageless primal lava that runs through our veins and fills us with might. The tomb of suns, the urn of dead world's ash, the corpse of moon and Saturn's lifeless flesh is set in mind and taken by the heart. In dying stars, life is born anew, but spirit's force is granted to a few who hold life's transcendent.